Hey, it's the Chief Bonding with Board Games and RPGs, and this is Twilight 2000 The Black Madonna. I backed the fourth edition Twilight 2000 when it came out on Kickstarter, and part of that was receiving the Black Madonna. I had to pay for shipping, but other than that, uh, the game was sent to me as part of the Kickstarter. Free League sent me an email saying, hey, this is out there. I get it for free. Just got to pay the shipping. I don't remember what that was, but it was reasonable. I want to say like 12 bucks or something. So we're going to open this up. This is a particular like um, mission or campaign for Twilight 2004E. This takes place in a fictional past. The year 2000, apocalyptic war happens. The gist is that you're either in Poland or Sweden. Poland was the original uh, location. Uh, my current campaign that I'm filming solo is in Poland. And you have options, though, for both Poland or Sweden. And, all right, coming in and looking at the back real quick, it mentions Frank Frey and Chris Keeling as the original designers. Make sure I got that right. Yes, and this box set includes new rules, new weapons, an overview of the Silesia region of Poland, new encounters, new factions for the PCs to tangle with, new scenario sites to explore, and details on the Black Madonna itself and its secrets. Boom. All right. So... Nice boxed set. I'm very used to that with my board gaming background. Ooh, well, isn't that kind of cool? Looks like a little diary. Some extra cards. We'll look at the encounter cards in a second. Okay. The Diary of Staff Sergeant James B. Crenshaw. Outlaw Troop, 4th Squadron, 3rd Armored Cav Regiment, United States Army. Very cool. Huh. Okay. Nice little details there. Your catalog, you cannot go wrong with Free League games. So, Dragon Bane, Blade Runner, that's actually been my most successful solo show. Walking Dead, doing it cooperatively, just awesome stuff. Always need silica. And these encounter cards will have a little text. Where is it? Right here. You probably can't see, I made do a zoom in shot that'll tell you that these are cards specifically from the Black Madonna. Now I'll need to look and see, you know, what kind of cards do these add. So for example, um, there was the, oh now I'm going to forget, but it's the city expansion. Well you got a deck, or not a full deck, but you got a collection of cards that you could then put into your encounter deck and it would replace more of the wilderness cards that were out there. Let's take a look at a couple of these. We'll see what we're dealing with. So if you don't want to know any of this, spoilers, skip ahead now. But let's see. Drunk and Disorderly. I've seen that more than a few times. A Near Miss with a BTR-80. One shot, five kills. Interesting. Okay, I'm not going to do all of them. Hotel California. Sounds interesting. Ooh, Wolverine Nest. Too far away, can't see. I saw Wolverine Nest. Wolverines. Wolverines. Still couldn't get it right. Wolverines. <laughs> Chain Gang. Field of Nightmares. Okay, a bunch of tanks knocked out. Was that what that was? Yes. Looks familiar. All right, toll booth ahead, unhappy campers. All right, looks like some maps real tight in the box. Let me get these out. All right, and what else do we have here? So we're going to have the manual or the module. Let's see what some of these are. Okay, little abstract. Okay, that one is not, although... What kind of home is that? I, oh, I see. Looks like a trench line. And maybe a little headquarters section trench line. And that is... I don't know. That's odd. Like a burnt area with grass. Can't figure it out. I would guess this is more trench line. Okay. A dam. 
It's like an old castle. Fields with a farmhouse. Looks like more trench line. Huh. Okay, looks like underground bunkers. Ooh, this is nice. Miro. Hmm. Like a city map that's gridded. Alphanumeric. Love that. That looks really cool. All right. We know the boxes there. Let's see. So this has been the style of art for each one of the booklets. We'll take a look. Usually there's a very nice, yes, very nice chapter system with the beautiful art that leads off each one. And then just a real clean set of lines on what is in each chapter. Not going to go book by or chapter by chapter. Well, that's cool. A little close. A little close. All right. Let's just. It says advanced minefields. Oh, we're already on two. Wow. Gorgeous. See this? Is what I'm talking about. This artist is phenomenal. My goodness, that's pretty. Silesia. All right. Let's just take a look at one of the things here. Geography, it's place on the map. And let's skip ahead. Silesian Encounters looks pretty bleak. This is going to list the encounters that are in here, is how that should be working. Yep. And... Silesian factions. Let's see what's up here. All right, your individual portraits, some of the details on each, so you can fill out NPCs and what they're doing and what their motivations are. And the Black Madonna. Actually, it looks like you're in a bunker or a cave or somewhere underground. I love the artist, so kind of slightly out of focus here, and then the focus is clearly on the art. But all the candles that have lit, hmm. Well, that's interesting. Pope John Paul II. Very cool. Scenario sites. So we see one of these bunkers clearly in a forest. The nuclear bunker. Hmm. So these different pages will be breaking down the individual like missions it looks like with the accompanied art. So you can see the mission and the dam, which you've already seen um, the prior card of the map for it. Um, I'm not going to go page by page. But for each one of the photos I showed you in the beginning, there's all this background information. Wonderful. And we move into a nice index. Nothing on these, but there we go. The Black Madonna. Very nice.